what's going down y'all it's your boy ross back at it again with another video so i'm gonna be giving my preview and predictions for SummerSlam this saturday man i am somewhat looking forward to the show but it's not because of the matches per se it's more so of the behind the scenes aspect i believe this will be triple h first pay-per-view uh on the main roster running the show completely for the most part that's what the reports are saying he will be running this year's SummerSlam. so uh creatively so I'm, I'm really interested on what they do a lot of these matches are pretty much rematches that we've seen plenty of times over the weeks you know what i'm saying on on both uh, raw and smackdown so i'm really interested to see how does he book these show like book these matches obviously there wasn't going to be much of a creative change because the storylines have already been set for the show so they kind of got to just play it out but maybe how they book the matches and well in the sense of how they structure the matches maybe we'll see some type of change within there but uh i'm really interested just on that aspect alone everything else i'm kind of up and down on match wise but i'm just more so interested on what triple h will be able to do given control over the show with what he's left with so we're gonna get to it i'm giving my thoughts and opinions on each match who i think will win in or lose and we're gonna go from there so let's start with the mysterios versus the judgment day no disqualification do i really care about this match not so much the one interesting thing about this match is will edge return during this match that's the real i think a lot of us are really interested will edge make his return during this match i think he possibly will i think it makes sense obviously he has to tie up loose ends with what happened with judgment day so i do think edge will probably interfere because there's a no disqualification edge will be in the match somehow he'll he'll make a make a return or whatnot He'll probably, I guess you can say, or you know what? I'm going to switch that. I could see the Mysterios losing. I could see the Mysterios losing potentially and not a, a Dominic heel turn. I don't think that needs to happen right now. I can see the Mysterios losing and then I can see Edge returning and attacking the new, uh, the Judgment Day members. I can see that happen. That's that's probably what i'm thinking is gonna probably happen in my in my head and i think a lot of people's heads it, i think either edge will come back interfere within the match and the mysterios win or i think what will probably happen the mysterios will probably lose and then edge will return after the match and attack the judgment day i think that's probably what will happen let me know if y'all agree with me on that potential outcome so overall i'm not really looking forward to the match i'm more so looking forward to edge getting inserted in the match at some point i already got miz and logan paul once again not really too much looking forward to the match but i think it will be a good one i think i think what we saw with logan paul at wrestlemania i'm i am willing to safely say i think it will be a good match i think it will be so pleasantly surprising to see logan paul out there actually putting on a a good match it's going to be different because he's going to be solo now so it'll be interesting to see how much he's improved training wise but I, i'm willing to give him benefit of the doubt i think it'll be entertaining more than we probably expect it to be i do think it'll be entertaining and i think they'll give logan paul the win here i think that he will get his first win at SummerSlam. now the question is will he remain face i think logan paul needs to be a heel logan paul is much better as a heel because people already don't like him he needs to be a heel he works better as a heel as a face he's cringe make him a heel make him a heel maybe he turns there maybe there's a double turn miz turns face logan paul turns heel we will see but i do have logan paul winning and i do think it'll be a solid match i don't think it's gonna be uh it'll be it'll be pleasantly surprising to see how good that match could possibly be so i'm giving it giving it some type of some type of love just a little bit we got bianca belair becky lynch their rematch that they had uh uh at SummerSlam of last year honestly honestly i, I don't once again don't care for this match because we just seen them fight not too long ago 
So it's like Bianca should, you know, she already beaten her multiple times. Me personally, if they're going to do this to end their feud, it makes sense that Bianca gets her win back from how she lost at SummerSlam last year. So I want Bianca Belair. I think Bianca Belair is going to win. I just doesn't make sense to put the title back on Becky Lynch. So I would have Bianca Belair win this match. I think they'll have a pretty good match. They did usually have pretty good matches. It's just trying to make us care about it. But I think they'll have a pretty good match. There'll be some close falls here and there. But I think Bianca Belair will get the win. And we can finally, hopefully, move forward to someone else with Bianca Belair. So she can fight somebody else for the Raw Women's title. SmackDown's Women's Championship. Liv Morgan versus Ronda Rousey. Now, here's the thing. Here, here's the situation. I know there's a lot of reports of Bailey coming back for SummerSlam. Do I believe Liv Morgan can beat Ronda Rousey? No, I'm sorry. Even though she's a fan favorite, I can't buy into that. I can't buy in to Liv Morgan beating Ronda Rousey clean in that ring. I'm just sorry. Ed. People love Liv. I think Liv is she has she's a good, she has a great heart. You can tell she loves business. She's not beating Ronda. She's not. I'm sorry. I I, I can't even believe that she's just not. Me and my personal opinion. Y'all can disagree with me if you want. But I do think Bailey will be involved. And I do think. Bailey will potentially cost Ronda. I, I, I think Bailey will cost Ronda the match. I can see because Bailey does not need to come back as a face. It does not work. It does not work at all. Bailey needs to remain heel because her heel gimmick is much better. And I think she comes back as a heel and she screws over Ronda Rousey, which causes Liv Morgan to retain. The fans will love it. Even though she's a heel, but I think you do that. And you can set up a program between Ronda Rousey and Bailey. And then I don't know what you do with Liv Morgan. You can find somebody. But I think Liv Morgan will win only by the means of potentially Bailey cash. Well, not cashing in, but interfering in the match, causing Ronda Rousey to lose. And Liv Morgan will retain. So that's how I feel that will play out. Um, WWE. Uh, undisputed Tag Team Championships. Usos versus Street Profits with the special guest referee, Jeff Jarrett. Hmm, this is a tough one. I think this is easily going to be one of the best matches of the night. Their tag team matches, they just, they just, they're really good as tag teams. Like, tag team opponents. That match is going to be good. I'm going to be honest with you, bro. Dead ass. I think it's time for them to lose the titles. I think it's time for them to lose the titles. I just think it's time. I think the Usos, I think you need to start booking the downfall of the bloodline. And I think you start here. I think you have them lose the titles. Deadass. You have them lose the titles. I'm 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 okay with them losing the titles, bro. They've had it for long enough. I would like the Street Profits to win, and I think the Street Profits will win. I think it will. That will be a SummerSlam moment. The Street Profits broke their streak. That will be their SummerSlam moment. I'm all for it. I want the Street Profits to win. I hope they do win. It's just that time. It's that time. So I'm going for the Street Profits, getting the ultimate upset win, and winning that SummerSlam. Crowd will pop big. And it'll put some more spotlight on the tag team. Like, bro, the crowd's going to be into this match for sure. All right. Pat McAfee and uh, Happy Corbin. I'm I'm be honest with you. This is the one match outside of the tag team match. I'm actually really looking forward to, bro. Pat McAfee, every time he's wrestled, even in NXT, he doesn't miss he is fantastic on commentary. He's fantastic on promos. And he's really good in the ring. You would never think. He's really good in the ring. Honestly. Honestly. I don't know. I, I, I want to say. Maybe Baron Corbin winning this. I can see Baron Corbin winning this. I really could. 
But honestly, to be honest, I think I'm going with Pat McAfee, bro. He's just, he's just, he's fantastic. And maybe that's a bias because I don't want him to lose. I mean, it doesn't really matter if he wins or loses anyway because he's a commentator. But I do think their match will be really good. I do think it's going to be fantastic. And honestly, I want Pat McAfee to get the dub. I don't know if that hurts Baron Corbin. You know, an announcer is beating him. But me personally, um, I want Pat McAfee to get the dub. And I, I think they probably will give him the win. Just to, you know, have some some feel-good moment with um, uh, with the fans. Or, or they could pull a swerve and potentially have Baron Corbin cheat. And they set up another match. But I don't want them to. I think this should be a one and done. I'm okay with Pat McAfee getting the dub here. So, I'm, I'm going for Pat McAfee to win this one. Uh, the United States Championship. Bobby Lashley versus Austin Theory. I don't. I think the match will be okay. I'm not as interested as I should be since he also theory is the money in the bank winner. Me personally, I don't think it just makes sense to take the title right off of Bobby Lashley, especially with this new era of Triple H taking over things and trying to rebuild the mid card division and the mid card title. It doesn't make sense to take Bobby Lashley off there. I think you need the United States championship on Bobby Lashley for sure. That's my, my personal opinion. I think you need it on Bobby Lashley. And honestly, I think I'm going to go with uh, Bobby Lashley retaining. I'm going to go with Bobby Lashley retaining. And we're setting up something with Austin Theory. Like, yeah, I may not have won that. But guess what? Later on tonight, he'd probably do a backstage interview. Later on tonight, it's not even going to matter. Because whoever wins out of this last man standing, I'm going to make sure I walk out as the champion. So we'll see how that plays out. But I'm going with Bobby Lashley for the win there. And, of course, none other than the main event. The last man standing match. Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar. Hopefully for the very, very last time. Uh, I have Roman winning. I, I just have Roman winning. Uh, I can see a disgruntled Usos getting in the mix. Because they lost their titles. If if it goes the way I'm booking it. They lost their titles. So, you know they're going to get in the mix. They, they're going to do whatever they can to screw over Brock Lesnar it just makes sense it just makes sense and it's gonna be a brawl it's gonna be a battle I want to see carnage the only way this makes this match somewhat more enjoyable is them literally just going to the extreme and trying to murder each other on live television fuck it SummerSlam go go out with a bang so I'm going with Roman Reigns to retain also I think with Roman now being the only person in the bloodline to have the titles um, after, you know, Jay and Jimmy lose, if this if this booking wants to happen, you can start building the downfall of the bloodline. You can start building up the inner torm, the like the inner, what's the word, turmoil, turmoil? Yeah, the inner turmoil, I'm probably saying it wrong, between the group, because now Jimmy and Uso don't have the titles no more. Roman's the only one still standing tall, holding up the bloodline. There can be some friction there. And if you involve the family storyline, there's another way possibly now you can start bringing in The Rock slowly but surely into this feud, into the mix. So that's why I have the Usos losing their tag titles. Roman's still retaining his because he doesn't need to lose his yet. And then we build up some conflict between the bloodline, the family members. Like, y'all ain't got the titles. I still have the titles. I'm still holding up my end of the bargain, you know, and that way, you know, we can see where they take it, how they build this up, because the ultimate end goal is to get The Rock involved and potentially having Roman drop these titles relatively soon. So we will see how that plays out. And then, of course, I can see uh, Austin Theory trying to cash in, and I, I actually do think Austin Theory will probably cash in and fail. I can see him cashing in and failing. And not because of him, himself. It's because someone will probably get involved. I know they're doing something with Dolph Ziggler. So somebody will probably get involved. Or I know tri um, Triple H uh, had already said something to Seth Rollins on Twitter. Because Seth Rollins was saying he's not going to be... He's not going to have a match at SummerSlam this year. 
Triple H could put him maybe in this match. Make it a triple threat match. Because if you want to bring some continuity into the mix, technically, when Seth Rollins was facing Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns cheated. But he, he got disqualified on purpose because he knew he wasn't going to lose the titles. And then Seth Rollins never really got his rematch because of that. Because that's, that's bullshit. So, what he could do, which would I don't think anyone would have a problem with, he could make it a triple threat last man standing match, have Seth Rollins get into the mix, maybe, potentially, something like that. And something happens. Either, either Dolph Ziggler causes Austin Theory to not be able to cash in or whatnot, or maybe Seth, Ross, Seth Rollins thwarts Austin Th- Theory's like total cash in, like he cashes in, but Seth Rollins maybe comes from the shadows or whatever. I don't know. There's there's plenty of ways they could spin this. I know it's kind of wild booking, but I do feel like somebody will get involved in Austin Theory's cash in, whether it's Seth Rollins, whether it's Dolph Ziggler. He will cash it in and he will fail because somebody else will get involved. That's just me kind of spitballing, just trying to trying to put all this craziness together but that's my preview and predictions man so i want to know down below what do you guys think will happen who will win who will lose how will austin theory cash in his money in the bank briefcase will he cash in successfully will he fail let me know down below but i appreciate all the love and support on the channel you guys been running up the subscriptions you guys been running up the views and i just want to say thank y'all to everyone that's been supporting me on my journey to 100k subscribers i really do appreciate it and uh, i thank you guys so much man so more content in the way appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace